GetRightCoach.com, easy pearls for floppy iris cases without using a pupil ring or iris hooks. Let me show you a full case start to finish. Here's a patient with some floppy iris syndrome coming up, Flowmax user, otherwise a pretty routine cataract. It looks pretty well dilated now, but look, as we start doing the case, we inject our anesthetic inside the eye, pupil gets a little bit bigger, but we know ahead of time this patient's been taking tamsulosin for many years, and he is going to have floppy iris. We'll fill the eye with our viscoelastic. Important to a little viscomedriasis there. You see that little pearl? Get that pupil expanded a little more with the viscoelastic. Now, it's going to be a temporary thing because as soon as you make the incision, get the rexes done, you're going to bring that pupil down a little bit. As soon as you lose viscoelastic, there's a good incision. Important not to have a short incision that's poorly placed because that's going to cause more iris prolapse. So there we can see it's about a five millimeter pupil. So let's get this rex let's right up against that pupil margin. You can see as we lose a little viscoelastic, the iris or the pupil starts to come down already. But again, I want a five millimeter rex, so we're gonna trace this right along that pupil margin. It is five millimeters now. I assure you this case will end up with a much smaller pupil. But again, it's not gonna be an issue for us. Key here is nice and gentle hydro dissection. Get that fluid wave across and I want this nucleus partially tilted out of the capsular bag, and look, the iris wants to prolapse. We gotta be careful, decompress it, get rid of that pressure gradient, don't let it prolapse out of the eye. And now, there we go. Now you can see that's the lens equator. We're gonna use the pupil, use the iris to actually hold the nucleus. A little more viscoelastic to protect the cornea, give you a little more room. And now the first thing we need to do with the phaco probe is I gotta split this nucleus. I need to make this into two halves pretty quickly. So phaco probe goes in, chopper goes around the equator, and let's split it, and there you go. The first half can now be removed, and it does feel cramped and crowded. This patient's getting a 25 diopter lens, a little bit of a smaller anterior chamber, a little bit shallower, plus the flow max going on, the floppy iris. But we can just work here centrally and bring the piece towards us. And notice I don't sub-chop the nucleus into too many smaller pieces. Two halves is enough. This is not that dense of a nucleus. It's pretty easy to remove, and I want to keep those pieces intact, keep it all together. So using that phaco probe again, emulsifying that down, and just like that, in a pretty efficient manner, that nucleus is gone. But now look at the iris, look at the pupil, coming down even smaller now. Yes, we put uh, epinephrine and lidocaine and phenylephrine at the beginning of the case, still it comes down. And you can add things like phenylephrine or lidocaine or, or epinephrine to your infusion bottle, that may help too. But again, the pupil comes down, that's to be expected. That's okay, now here what I do is I keep track mentally, where's the cortex, what have I removed? Instead of jumping around, I wanna do it in a systematic manner so that I kinda of know I've gotten all quadrants of cortex out of the eye. I don't wanna have a big chunk or wad of cortex left inside the eye. So we've cleaned it up pretty nicely, I'm pretty happy there. And of course, at the end, we can check again. Look at the pupil coming down again. So now our cohesive viscoelastic is gonna help expand the capsular bag and expand the pupil. And I'm gonna use this to help get a good view there. You should be able to barely see the rexus. Maybe you can see it there. And here comes the lens, single piece acrylic lens. We're gonna place this right in the capsular bag. It's gonna go in pretty easily. This is a preloaded lens. They're coming down the injector. This is that injector with a CO2 cartridge. And we'll dial that in and I'll use the second hand to help really make sure the lens goes in the bag. And now, don't take the viscoelastic out just yet. Use that chopper, lift up the iris, under the rexus, under the rexus, no cortex remaining, and check it for 360. Make sure the entire lens is underneath the capsular rexus edge, it's in the capsular bag, and there is no retained viscoelastic, or pardon me, no retained cortex in the eye. Now I'll remove the viscoelastic. I still go behind the lens. So even though the pupil's small, go behind the lens, get the viscoelastic out. And again, cleaning up here, and now you can see the iris wants to billow and cause other issues here. But you can learn this technique, and if you have a patient who's, you know, like this, floppy iris, takes Tamsulosin, Flomax, you can still get these cases done in a highly efficient manner. And so here at the end of the case, sealing up that incision, incision looks pretty good, and we didn't touch the iris the entire case, and everything goes beautifully. And again, we just make these as routine cases. It's not that big of a deal. And just like that, five minutes, you're done with the whole case. The patient's going to have a beautiful outcome with minimal manipulation. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.